Hey everybody, it's your pal Chuck, and we are back with another review. And if there's one thing longtime viewers would know is every once in a while I like to take a left turn in my reviews, and that's what we're doing today. From Jazzwares, a company that's been around for, I would say, a while now. Uh, they specialize in um, toys, co uh, figurines, collectibles based around uh, video game properties. They've come out with a new 4-inch scale. Um, I think it would be like uh, 1 18th or something like that. Uh, action figure line based on the video game Fortnite. Now, let me make it clear. I have not played Fortnite. I am only aware of it from the completely unnecessary podcast and their little bits here and there talking about it. Um, I know it's a video game. I know it's a multiplayer online video game that's, you know, like more like a running gun, you know, that there's different... Uh, options to play against people. I know it's very popular with young people. Um, to give you an idea where I am, the last game I played was Super R-Type, and that was a couple weeks ago through uh, certain means I'm not going to go into. But anyway, um, the reason I've got this set is because this is the first 4-inch uh, figures from a company we've gotten in a very long time. And I wanted to check them out. Um, now, if you go into brick and mortar retail, they have the pretty much the full wave out. Um, there's single packs. There's a group four pack. Uh, there's like a vehicle of some sort. There's this and there's I think the pinata has not been released yet. There's like a pinata that has uh, like one figure and a ton of accessories and weapons. And there's like little. Uh, treasure chests you can buy that come with additional accessories for your figures. So that's all really cool. That you know, I mean, hey, wait a minute, we, we're, we're we're actually getting in 2018 the old uh, battle uh, accessory packs that they used to do for GI Joe and Masters of the Universe. Um, this is called the Turbo Builder set. This was really the only set available, shipped and sold by Amazon that I could get figures from. So that's why I have it here. Um, basically. It comes with two figures, Jonesy and Raven, uh, four weapons, and something, and two what they call harvesting tools, which I'll show you in a minute. But one thing I got to start off with, I want to get the little negative out of the way. Right here on the front of the packaging in small print, which I'm going to read for you. Additional building materials needed to complete set shown are sold separately and subject to availability. Um, accessories included do not create the electric effects shown. Um, that's fine, but it was the first part, additioning building materials. Basically, if you want to build this structure you see on the front of the box, you can't do that with this set. And I'm a little disappointed about that. I mean, for, for 40 bucks, they at least could have shown you something on the front of the box you can build with the set. Now, turning the box around which I'm just going to pull it out because I don't want to hit my camera. Um, it does show you Raven and Jonesy in their um, digitized forms. I do have to say I am very impressed with how the figures in plastic form resemble this likeness. But basically they break down. You get 27 wood pieces, which have uh, the uh, pegs for the figures to step into. Um, 27 brick and 27 metal pieces. Um, and you can, in, and in the packaging, they do give you a slight build, which is this thing right here, which is nice. Uh, it's already pre-built. I mean, I, I guess this is part of the pieces. I didn't count. One thing I do want to point out is you see right here, this is the, uh, mail connector. You have two little nubs and then a tab. That tab you cannot like rotate the pieces. See how this is like 
free moving. That's because the tab there was not put into the slot. But if I was to push it up more, you g I would get this very uncomfortable snapping that sounds like I'm breaking it. So yeah, so if you want it on like an angle or something, you have to snap into place that way, not snap it in straight and rotate it down. But this is the wood. As I mentioned, it has the pegs for the holes on the bottom of the figure's feet. This is the metal, and this is the brick. It's also hollow on the other side. I do believe part of Fortnite, um, there is a uh, bit of a uh, building where you build a cover for yourself and what hel what have you. There is also a little uh, hashtag in it called Wall Up IRL. Um, I, so you can show them what you build. So I do like that there is that um, interactivity with the site. So we're going to pause right now. And I'm going to set up the figures, and we're going to take a look at them individually. Okay, uh, starting us off is Jonesy. Now, Jonesy was one of the reasons why I went for this set, and it kind of has to do with the fact that he bears a slight resemblance to a real American hero by the name of Duke. Blonde hair, blue eyes. I'm not saying they were... Jonesy was based on him, but... I see a resemblance, especially from some of the later incarnations of the character. Um, now, I kind of understand that these are really not actual characters, but skins. Like, Jonesy is a type of skin and not a, like a sentient character. I may be wrong about that. I'm not sure. This is just from what I understand. Please feel free to correct any misinformation in the comments, but please do so civilly and respectfully. Um, I have to say, if you remember the G.I. Joe line for Renegades, when the figures were first shown, they had a much more, they had a design that was much closer to the cartoon. And I have to say, these resemble that Renegades animation style. So I'm very happy to see that. And like I said, this really does look like it just walked out of the video game. The coloring, the styling, very nice. Um, I do have a few issues with the figure that could just be mine. Number one, when I got it out of the box, I had to pop a few of the joints, namely the feet, the ankles, and the head joint. Also, if you notice uh, the way his arms are designed with the musculature, the arms can't go closer into the body, and that makes it hard to two-hand hold uh, a lot of the included weapons, which we'll take a look at a little bit later on. Um, I do like that wrist communicator that Jonesy has. You have the tattoo, that little uh, rubberized uh, bandana right there. Um, interestingly enough, he has a peg hole here on the back. I know there are backpacks included and all the figures have peg holes, but his is a little oddly shaped that I think is meant to fit the peg here on this gun, which, by the way, is the only weapon in the set that matches his color scheme. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but we just you can just go ahead and uh, port it in, and it, oop, I was going to say it does hold, but if I do it right, let me see, I think I'm trying to figure out how I did it last time, but you just got to slide it in there because there are some additional grooves up oh, there we go and it kind of and it holds um i don't think there's weapon storage in fortnite i think it's part of the overall gimmick that there isn't but while i have jonesy in hand let's go over the articulation um the head i do believe is on a ball joint but there's really not a lot of movement except for side to side there is the neck hinge which allows you to look very far up and very far down. Jonesy's feeling sad. Um, universal joints in the shoulders. And if you hear that, that's ratcheting joints, which I am very happy to see. Jazz wears, by the way, I, before I get any further, this feels solid. I want to stress that this is solid G.I. Joe 25th anniversary quality plastic. This is not the rubbery type of plastic that they used on Marvel Universe figures. I want to stress that this, this even has a lot of heft to it, but, um, arms go in and out. You do have, again, a ratchet there in the elbow with some rotation. The wrist is on a swivel and 
you do have in and out wrist movement. Now, I would have preferred the up and down wrist movement, but I can, I think it's better to hold weapons, but the fact that they included wrist movement, uh, is a major plus in their favor. Um, going down to the hips, these are ball jointed hips that can go forward and back. Uh, not so much back, but outward. Um, you do have rotation there at the thigh. Hope I got that right. You do have double jointed knees right there. So, you know, you can fool around with them, get that, get a little more bit of a bend. Um, and then we come down to the feet. Um, you do have forward and back ankle articulation as well as ankle pivot. I honestly would have preferred having an ankle swivel than the pivot. I think over the years I've come to prefer the pivot as opposed to the swivel. Now, I almost forgot to get to, with the waist here. You do have waist articulation as well as a diaphragm joint. So you, they really like did what GI Joe started to do um, with their uh, newer sculpt figures from the 25th anniversary line on and really uh, threw in a bit more of the Marvel Universe styling, but in a much better piece of plastic. Slight complaints, I think for 2018, four-inch figures need to have ball-jointed wrists and or interchangeable hands. Um, they are molded in the C-grip. It can hold the weapons adequately, uh, but not as well as I would like. So that's Jonesy. We'll pause and we'll take a look at Raven. Okay, now here's Raven, and I know nothing, again, of this character. I think more so than Jonesy, this is a skin design. I think it's some El Elseworld spirit. I've had some people on various forums say this would make a great uh, secondary costume for a Cobra Commander. I don't know. Um, in terms of the detailing, you have this hood, the black uniform with some molded on web gear. I do like how they work the collar piece and this shard of like a trench coat. For some reason, he's leaning back a little, so we'll straighten him up. Um, you have that. Um, I do like those heavy metal gauntlets right there. Heavy metal thunder. That's oh, right. <clears throat> Um, and you do have just, you know, a whole lot of detailing here that does come from a game. Like Jonesy, it looks like the digitized image, this just walked out of the game. So I'm very impressed like that. And also again, very heavy, solid plastic that I am happy about. Now, unfortunately, due to the sculpt, while he does this, I shouldn't say he, this figure has the same articulation points as Jonesy, they are a bit more limited. For example, you do have the same head swivel, but in terms of uh, trying to get the head to look up and down, you just end up popping off the ball joint, but you do see right there is the uh, uh, neck swivel. You do have the same ratchets in the shoulder, bend at the elbow, and the same wrist articulation, including the in and out movement. So that's nice to have. You do again have that. Uh, you ha here's the diaphragm joint, and then you do have the uh, I can get it here the waist joint underneath. But it's a little limited again due to the sculpting with those pouches, and obviously the hips here are going to be limited, but not much because this tail of the like trench coat is very. Um, soft so you do have that and again the 90 degree bends with the knees and forward back 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 forward whatever uh and the ankle pivot so um really a solid figure i mean any other little issues you might i might have with it tends to just come from the fact that these are heavily articulated figures so they're Naturally, there is going to be a bit more fiddling with them to get them into position. I also forgot to mention there is that thigh rotation. Um, so we'll pause here and I'll bring out the accessories and I'll uh, we'll, we'll take a look at them and then we'll go into my final thoughts. Okay, um, so these are the accessories that come in the package. There are four weapons and two um, 
what do they call them? Um, building tools or um, harvesting tools. Excuse me, I harvesting tools. Um, like I said, this rifle right here is the only one that sort of matches the colors of Jonesy. And it does have this little peg thing that allows it to peg into his back. It doesn't fit on Raven. And he is shown using it on the packaging. So, and then, um, I seen, um, pictures of Jonesy using this, um, uh, pitch, well, not a pitchfork, but a pickaxe or some sort of a tool like of that. Um, Raven, on the other hand, on the box is shown using this device. It looks like almost like a divining rod of some sort. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of it. But for the other weapons, as you can see, they have this nice, um, glossy, uh, metallic blue paint with some matte black accents. And that pretty much matches, uh, Raven a little bit better. Um, but I think if, in all honesty, these are meant for everybody. But you have this nice looking, uh, what I would say is a sniper type rifle. You have this uh, suppressed machine gun. And you have this revolver. And this is when I'm a little disappointed that there's no weapon storage on the figures. Because it would have been nice to have a holster to stick this in. Um, this is also another weapon I tend to give to Jonesy. Um, I do like the way they look. Um, they are a little cartoony. Uh, G.I. Joe weapons tend to be a little more... Uh, real world looking, but just in uh, neutral colors. Whereas these, I, I think the proportions are a little exaggerated, but I do appreciate the different color schemes. Like here, you have this wood grain uh, coloring on the handle, to, which is kind of close to accurate. And then um, you have the, uh, again, that same wood grain coloring for the grip and the uh, chin stock. So you know, I mean, I appreciate the effort that they went in, but I really appreciate is that all of these, again, solid plastic, not soft, rubbery plastic like Star Wars or the Marvel Universe weapons that were come warped and bent out of packaging. I mean, that's something else I want to stress again is when I got these guys out of packaging, at least from what I can tell, there was no warpage. Um, I can't even say that about a lot of G.I. Joe figures. So the fact that Jazzwares did that, it really – I think they really understand that there's a space in the market and they can fill it up. And thus far from what I'm seeing, they're doing a good job. So we'll pause. I'll give the, the characters some of their accessories and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so as you can see, I've armored the figures up. Um – you know, the little sniper rifle seems to be have a little too short of a stock and looks a little cartoon, uh, comically small. Maybe it's supposed to look like that. Um, definitely, if these figures had double jointed elbows with a different wrist articulation, I think it would have been a lot better to choke up on it. But, um, you know, other than that, uh, I shouldn't like the blue weapons, with the exception of the revolver. They have open trigger guards, so you can really get them down in the hand. Um, the This weapon here with Jonesy only has a molded-in trigger, and I was, really could not push it in further because he did not have dedicated trigger fingers. I think that's something else that if the figures have would be a little bit better, the dedicated trigger finger, so you could work the finger into the uh, the trigger area, the, the hole. Um, but yeah... Those are like little nitpicks that I have for some fantastic figures. I don't know how long this line is going to go. I don't know, you know, if Jazzwares is going to start doing just straight ahead four inch military style figures um, based on these molds. But I have to tell you, they're so far, they're doing really good. I plan up plan on buying a couple of the single pack figures when I see them. Amazon says they're not going to be in stock until February. I definitely want to get that pinata set, but if you're out and about, you have a young child who's a big fan of Fortnite, um, these would be great Christmas gifts right here. You can get them this set. I think actually this set would be the best Christmas present because you have the figures, you have multiple accessories, and you have the parts to make uh, 
build contractions and what have you, which I think are all crucial parts to the game. Um, the single pack figures are a lot of fun. I know they come with backpacks. Um, some of them do. I know those treasure boxes with the extra accessories, those come with the backpacks and stuff. So this set, a couple of uh, treasure boxes, I think that would be a great Christmas present and would really deep dive them into this line and have a good time with it. So that's all I can really say. Um, highly recommended. I'm very impressed. I think uh, Jazzwares is sending a message to Hasbro and Mattel, because Mattel also makes four-inch figures, that they're not the kings of the mountain anymore. Um, so, for your old pal Chuck, this is Jonesy and Raven. We will see you next time.